one that's completely used up. I don't know why that was so hard to open. <laughs> hey guys, so today I wanted to film part two of my empties. Um, these are going to be eye products, like eyeshadows, eyeliners, um, eye primers, mascaras. Um, I already did part one, which is all of the products I was throwing away that were like lip products and things like that. So you can check that video out. I'll link it below. Um, so this one's just going to be eyeshadows and I have them in a bag here and not all of them are used up. Um, some of them either dried out, I didn't like, so I'll go through it when I go through them. So I'm just going to pull them out randomly and the first one I'm pulling out is um, an eyeshadow from Ulta. This is Green Machine and it's just kind of... I don't know, a shimmery green. Um, it's really dry and not very pigmented. And I just didn't like the formula. I know Ulta reformulated them and these are old. So um, I still just don't even trust their new ones. So I'll also pull out um, one too. This one's called Ice Queen and it's even worse. So I don't know if you can just see how chunky that is. It's just so, it's so chunky, and even when I'm like, it's just, ugh. Next is going to be a Forever 21 eyeshadow, and I bought this when I still worked at Forever 21. It's actually a really pretty color, but again, it's really dry, kind of chalky, and it's really pretty in the pan. I don't know if you can see the gold shimmer, it's almost like an olive, but as soon as you get it on your skin, it's just black. That's it. So it's not too interesting, never reached for it, um, it was a dollar. Um, next is another eyeshadow, this is from NYX. I'm pretty sure they discontinued these, these are the ones, um, they're like a little square container and they have like little, four little bumps. I think they reformulated these and they changed the packaging and I don't think these exist anymore and I'm kind of glad because I wasn't a fan. I do like um, the round ones. I like the white a lot and some of the matte colors I do like so I didn't really like this. This one is in um, Autumn Sky and it's kind of a light shimmery blue and it just, it just didn't really do it for me. Pigmentation wasn't very good, staying power wasn't very good even under a primer. So I'll just do the sister to that one and this is another one from NYX. I put a pretty good dent in this one. This is Toffee Shimmer. It just, it's pretty but it just doesn't show up on the eye. It doesn't translate. Very powdery, chunky, not a fan. Next are these two elf can you hear that jingling in there? <laughs> e.l.f. Um, cream eyeliners. These are supposed to be like gel eyeliners. You can see this one is black. It just it just dried up. You know, it, it didn't stay very creamy for long. Um, really hard to apply. And then I have a purple one. And it got so dry it just, it just cracked. And next I'll just do these since uh, they're on top. Um, I've gone through a bunch of these already. They're a dollar, and I do like the staying power in the eyebrows, so I think it's worth it. Um, I do have a backup, so that's that one. It's a brand new one. Never even been used yet. And it lasts me a little while. It does go pretty quickly, but it is nice, kind of, I think, to have a product that you know you can finish. Um, I guess I kind of am going in order with these. <laughs> Next two, I'll just do the two eyeliners. Um, this one's from Avon. This one's completely used up. It's just a um, like a navy blue color. It was really nice for the waterline, but I will say that if you put this on the waterline, it would kind of wear off after a while, as any eyeliner would. But it would really get lodged into your lashes and it would be really hard to remove, so. Um, another eye pencil is the Wet n Wild Color Icon. I just, I just moved this to my throwaway bag today because, let's be real, I never use this. Next, I'll do eye primers, because I have two of them. 
Uh, this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Everyone and their mother has heard of this, so it shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, I completely used this baby up. I got this with my Naked One palette. So I do really like the Essence one. This one isn't completely empty, but the reason why I moved it to like the trash pile was because I used this all the time and I was almost done with it. And then um, I used it on a friend for Halloween makeup and I just figured I shouldn't be um, kind of mixing. I just decided to move it to the trash pile and I got one for myself. And then if I need to again for Halloween I can buy one for my kit. I think they're $3.99. And they are really good. I do also like to use this if I have early morning. And all I want to do is like a little mascara, a little concealer, some lip, glo lip gloss. I will put this um, on my eyelid and use it as concealer on my under eye because it is still skin tone but a little bit more orange. So it's going to cancel out my purples and blues under here. Um, okay, so almost done. This is just an e.l.f. liquid liner. They're a dollar. Um, I did really like this before and I would repurchase it all the time, but I don't like how they changed the formula. If you've ever put on lashes and you use lash glue, then you will understand what I mean when I say that if I would put this on my lash line and then, you know, the whole day goes by, then I would go to remove it, it would come off like eyelash glue. It would be like really weird. It would like peel off like eyelash glue and I didn't really like that. I liked the original formula because I've probably gone through three of these because I really like it. They're glossy, they stay all day under a primer or over a primer, and they were a dollar but I don't like how they changed the formula. Um, this one is the Le Fru Fru Volume and Length from NYX. And I did like this. It's just a standard, um, you know, it looks just exactly like a spoolie. You know, they didn't, didn't spend too much money there. But I did end up having an eye irritation a couple months back, and this was the mascara that I used continuously, even though I had kind of an irritation or, you know, a bacterial infection. It wasn't an infection, but just, you know, an inflammation, I suppose. And knowing me, I couldn't go to work without wearing at least mascara. So this is the one I still continue to use. And this one is the Organic Wear. I did like this mascara. I like that it's advertised as organic, whether it may be or not, and you know, maybe it's a little bit less harsh. But as a high-end dupe, I am really loving my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And I do have the full size um, from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I got it for $10. The only thing I didn't like about it was I feel like it wasn't very black. And, like, I couldn't get anything off the bristles. So even after a short period of time, I felt like it kind of dried out. It's like one of those things. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. I know there's a couple other types but I think I'll just hold off until I use up some of the mascaras I have now that I've been liking. So, And I know NYX also has a couple new mascaras they added to their line, so I think I'll try out some of those because they are cruelty-free, and I like to stay with cruelty-free. So That concludes my video. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Like the video if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe because I will have more videos coming. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. one that's completely used up. I don't know why that was so hard to open. So, but I did have it, ooh, for decided to put, oh, I keep dropping things.